Okay, hello everybody. Now for what it's time? It's time for chess. I'm gonna play slow chess one game of five minutes. So let's start and after that you know what? Analyze it. Our opponent is D3 from Lithuania. D3 1777 rating. So I'm gonna play what I'm, I'm gonna play in a tournament. So because I'm soon I'm gonna play in a tournament in my city where I'm living. So if this was a tournament, huh, I would think f5 or d5 or knight f6 and maybe choose courageously enough knight f6. Now I'm gonna b6. So leaving my option of bishop a4, bishop a6. I'm gonna try to push a pressure on c4, inducing b3 now. Hmm. Okay, now bishop b4, bishop e 7 I guess is a very good. So okay. I know it's so theory putting hmm so now I must play bishop b7 and hmm, now I'm not sure c5 is it good enough or just castle so 94 is another option 94 I think d5 is not so good I'm wondering about c5 so I think knight e4 is a good move knight uh, e4 maybe they on knight e4 there is knight g5 oh no it's not it's not um, I think knight e4 is a good move maybe knight e5 95 I can play just d6 he doesn't have knight uh, g5 I can just take with my bishop so okay that's why he plays this I'm gonna castle hmm. so, okay here's the rook on the d file so what about c5 what maybe my other idea is uh, a5 and knight e6 here. Put time to put the knight on. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Uh, not sure, d5. I wanna have d6 if he plays knight e5. Actually, maybe now knight e5 is threatened. So I must go d6. Protecting knight e5 coming. But knight d1. Knight d1. I must protect this my only move. Is it? This on b7 if I move. For example, where well, knight f2 is my only move. Or oh, knight d2 I have. I have knight d2. Knight d2 he takes on b7. I don't like it. So, oh, I have maybe knight g3. No. Okay, f5 is my only move. I have 2 minutes and 34 seconds to go. Okay, he goes there. I think knight c3 is good because I have knight e2, knight d4. So, for the bishop and the, for the rook, I'm winning 2 pawns. Am I? Did I just blunder here? No, I'm winning a rook here. I can just take the rook, which is better. Hmm. Knight e2. Check. He goes, let's say, g2. Knight d4, queen d3. Bishop f6. He takes. Hmm. I can just take there. Rook d1. Knight d1, I mean. Knight d1, queen c6, queen is knight e6. Queen c7. Queen e2, knight e2. Knight e2, knight d4. I think I, I, I must take it.
and now at least taking here and playing c6 or maybe I, I should play c6 immediately now maybe oh maybe he can play, no he cannot play bishop b7 I have queen c7 again I hope there is no something which uh, he can escape uh, okay let's go bishop f6 or oh, oh no should I take here if I go queen c7 knight c6 okay let let at least I can make uh, I can play c5 no I can take and play c5 so at least uh, the bishop will be closed so let's go c5 and bishop f6 or bishop d4 maybe maybe on bishop c6 I have queen c8 and after that f4 using queen h3 even which will be annoying for him oh I have less than a minute which should make me feel a little bit uncomfortable so maybe he play bishop c3 uh, bishop c3 I have f4 on bishop c3 on this move um, okay let's go knight d7 so I'm attacking the bishop I'm not afraid of this so let's improve my knight position knight g4 looks dangerous hmm, maybe knight c4 even oh no the queen's there hmm. so okay bishop f6 is there something better I want to play f4 and open my file of the rook but this bishop is uh, this, this bishop maybe I change the bishop with bishop g5 is this a good idea Mm -hmm. I don't wanna knight c4 what about knight c4 is this helping anybody hmm. what about f4 what about f4 immediately he cannot take with the bishop because g5 coming and if he takes with the pawn I have bishop h4 yeah this that looks cool Okay, now I can just open the file. Knight g4, bishop g5. Let's go bishop g5, trying to take. So I have a queen in the attack. Hmm. On knight f3, I just take and queen d2 maybe. These pieces are not playing the queen and the bishop. Even I have 26 seconds, I feel confident I can win this one. Mm, on queen b3 maybe the best defense queen b3 uh, what I play queen d2 or something else like knight g4 knight g4 there is always knight f3 so he decides to take I'm gonna take 21 seconds hmm how to what to do here queen b3 Queen b3, rook f4 maybe on queen b3? No, I should play h5. h5 is a good move because I will have a square for for my king to go to h7. If, if I wanna put my rook in the attack, I have to think first for my defense. It's okay, he's down on mid. That's nice. Ah. Okay, he decides to play this. I don't want it changing. So f fast king uh, queen there. Hmm, knight g4 on oh, queen e4. Can I play knight g4? No. Maybe on b2. If he goes on e4 with the queen, I'm not sure. Okay, he does that. I'm gonna queen c3 so attacking okay he blunders 
I'm gonna take okay give the check oh this is made oh that was nice and fast I played like a computer man so seven seconds left but he's made so let's analyze this game Horwich defense so it seems it's my favorite defense I have never won at Horwich but it seems like I always play Horwich defense hmm Horwich defense I'm, I'm surprised who has inva invaded this defense uh, And I want to see No, it's not this So Horwich was uh, playing in 1907 in Brooklyn, New York with Jeff's American International Master of Chess He, he has wrote many uh, books about chess and chess career so chess career his defense e4 e5 d4 e d c3 d takes c bishop c4 take bishop b2 huh so he was suggesting uh rather than oh yeah he was suggesting c6 and so on so okay, he was a New York man. I I didn't know anything about him. So okay, let's analyze. D4 is six. So we are playing uh, this type of position. Now we are maybe transferring to something else. I know it's something else just don't know the right name and now here knight c3 is correct move for me and bishop b7 is giving quite a mistake first critical position knight c3 is right bishop b7 is wrong the best is uh, bishop takes c3 and it will be normal position something looking like this one Mm, but it's accurately move needed to be made it from both of the sides but I play a blunder so what is the right move here so it was 92 huh 92 94 at 96 oh using that on light and you protect everything oh it's such a powerful move man Oh, I didn't saw this combination. I thought I would have two hanging pieces, but I have knight c6 protecting the rook. If he takes, he's giving his powerful bishop and protecting the knight, a very powerful piece in the center. If I saw this, uh, I would play it. I didn't saw it. Okay, 91 is a blunder, two points leading. Knight f2 is correct anyway c6 taking and c5 yeah i thought before it's not a problem at all now white has advantage of uh, two points here and you see uh and before is just doing nothing with my structure i'm so solid there so um, the best something was like knight f3 uh knight f3 was like uh, some suggestions just uh uh I'm trying to to be more active with the pieces okay I play knight d7 which is not uh, the best move it's giving quite 96 is the best but I don't like it actually so much do you like this position without your knight huh. it was like a lost position <laughs> after white change queens it will be easy win so I play something more difficult for him and he plays good move and here a, a mistake 
and from 2.72 now it's giving like equal so you know like one move and everything change in the position the base is still knight f3 but he doesn't play that and I would have no dangerous attacks at all however um, yeah I was thinking after queen e4 what to play what aggressive I should play and I was thinking knight g4 bishop g5 or f4 I played f4 which is giving quite mistaken advantage for white the best was bishop g5 maybe yeah this is looking quite the best and trying to to use the, the queen the white queens on the queen side and to use uh, the power of the pieces so it's a draw here looks like um, so I could make the draw easy here something like that okay but he plays mistake after a four he plays king g2 he's panicking seems like to be and now i'm leading so g4 was the best and this page doesn't maybe seem so oh queen d1 but it's so hard to see this defense actually you know it's complicated position for both of the sides and i have even pawns here it's really not easy for him even after this position queen g4 is winning okay uh, fg also i take it's correct bishop g5 now i play correct and he takes which is not correct it's a mistake and from one point now he leading now i'm leading one point the best is just not to take and to take my dangerous knight actually which seems to be more dangerous piece than my bishop oh i take and bishop takes and now i play a blunder so from i lost all my advantage of taking here i should play queen e3 immediately think more pressure rook f1 and something like that Oh, it's so crazy position man so i should play queen e3 instead of taking and rook f1 for a mate and keeping no pressure it's hard to be seen this followed by queen c2 and crazy attack okay however uh he plays queen h4 which is a blunder uh, the best was the best defense was queen e4 which will be something like that like equal a little bit even um, it would be um, like uh, two points up uh it will be a little bit better for him okay however uh he played queen h4 and the best is queen e3 i play queen d2 so queen e3 is best better than queen d2 because now he doesn't have queen e4 he does he cannot protect e2 with the queen queen h5 g6 is coming and it will be something like that oh it will be very hard for him to defend this yeah i'm just winning a rook if he doesn't want to be a mate so okay queen e4 he makes the right move and now queen c3 mistake the best was to go to b2 and it, it's still a lot of game okay knight f3 is a blunder now it's blunder it was just so many times now it's blunder and it is blunder because i take the rook i take the rook and rook b1 was the best so i take it and queen e5 now checkmate in three unavailable and i saw it so i'm really proud that i saw this mate so fast i had only seven seconds or around eight oh yeah it was easy to be seen but i'm proud of myself so bishop a4 was the best uh, instead of taking just bishop a4 and it would be a time battle uh i guess i guess i would want that <laughs> 
Okay, thank you all for watching and uh, see you in the next crazy video, man. Bye-bye for now.